Hello, this video will instruct you how to make a simplified rose using the Clover Mini Flower 2022 template. So you're going to cut the petals according to the instruction document or the sizes posted at the beginning of this video. And I'm using both petals from the Clover 2022 Mini Flower. So there's a three petal three petal petal <laughs> and you need four of those all the same size and then you need three of the four petal clover 2022 mini flower okay now the sepal that i'm using is not included with this template you can use any sepal or the sepal that comes with it i just happen to be using um, one of my favorite sepals is from our flower camp mini flower bundle and this is from the mini flower number three in that bundle, the sepal. And I cut two of them at the same size. Okay, so you need some 18 gauge wire. So I cut mine in half just so it's easier for display and with the camera. I cut my petals and sepals with 65 pound cardstock, but you can use up to 80 or 100. And then we need some needle nose pliers my metal ball stylus tools with my flower shaping mat. Now this is like a, a piercing tool that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So it's just something you can pierce a hole in there. I don't like to cut it with my cutting machine. And then we need our dowel rod. So we are using the 3 16 the 5 16 and the 8 inch. Okay, so we're going to stack our sepals. I did get them off center. Okay, and we're going to take our 1 8 inch dowel rod and we're going to place it down in the middle of the sepal petal, pinch it up and roll it along. Okay, place it down in the middle of that petal thumb index finger it holds your dowel rod in place this is my non-dominant hand with my dominant hand or my right hand pinch up and roll this is a really pretty flower I used it in um, wedding bouquets before super duper pretty and you can make them super fast but still gorgeous Okay, there's your sepal. We're going to flip it over and we're going to pierce our hole in it right in the center or close to the center. And now we're going to take our four largest. I like to stack them with just two at a time. I don't like to roll more than that. We're going to take our 5 16 inch dowel rod Place it down in the middle of our petal, thumb, index finger, it holds your dowel rod in place, okay? With your other hand, take your thumb, pinch it up, I let go, and I roll it, okay? Thumb, index finger, pinch up around the dowel rod, and then just roll it along your index finger. Pinch up and roll. And we're going to take our other two, place it down, thumb, index finger, pinch up, and roll it along. If you are newer, you may want to just try one petal at a time. It's up to you. Whatever is easier. I do a maximum of three petals at a time, unless I'm doing like a 100-pound cardstock. Okay, we're going to take out of the three, we're going to take two of them and we're going to roll it with our 3 16 style rod. So place it down, thumb, index finger, pinch it up and roll. Okay, pinch and roll. And then for our last one, we're going to use the eighth inch style rod. Place it down in the middle of the petal, pinch, and roll it right along. It's really going to be closed up, but we'll open it up a little bit. Pinch up and roll. Okay.
Now we're going to take our four petals. We're going to lay out two of them on our flower shaping mat. I'm going to flatten the petals slightly on the first one and just open them up just a little bit more. We're going to take our metal ball stylus tool and we're going to roll the center so it lifts our petals up. We want our first layer to be flat because that's where we're going to attach our sepal. So we're going to look at the top two petals, look at a petal, place it right in between. So come straight down and hold it there for a moment. Okay. Take your next two, lay them out on your flower shaping mat. Then we're going to roll the center with our metal ball stylus. Add a little bit of hot glue on the back. And I'll look at a petal, look at the top two, and bring it straight down in between and press. So layers one and three are lined up, and then two and four will be lined up. Let it adhere for a moment. Rotate it around. Add a little bit of hot glue in the center. Okay, we're going to look at the top two petals. Look at this petal and bring it straight down in the center and press. Now you can always use your metal ball stylus tool to hold it there. You can always ink your edges as well or shade your petals, depending. So we have our first four layers. Now we're going to lay out our three petals. Oops. And this is going to be our very center. So now we're going to work from the center out. So we're going to roll with our smallest metal ball stylus tool. Smallest diameter ball. Roll the petals up. And now the one that you rolled with the 8 inch dowel rod. We're going to open it up slightly to interlock the petals, okay? So one in front of the other. Okay, so it looks like a rosebud almost. Twist it so it's nice and tight. Add some hot glue. Now we're going to look at our petal here and place it in between. So I looked at these two petals and this petal. So this petal is in between these two. It's easier to look from the side when you're creating your center. Now we're folding up our petals again, interlocking it around our center. And then twist it slightly. Okay, so we're going to look at this petal. We looked at these two and this petal. Hold it for a second. Lift your petals up and around. Add some hot glue. And now we can look at a petal and place it in between. So come straight down. And let's hold it there to allow the glue to adhere. Okay, and then I just open it up. And there you have your flower portion. So if you didn't need to use a sepal, you have your flower ready to go for your project. So now we're going to stem ours. We're going to roll the center. We 
we are going to take our 18 gauge wire. So again, I used a smaller piece. Our needle nose pliers, place the wire in between the needle nose pliers. Okay, now you're just going to bend it around like a hook. So now you can see it's flat, like a shepherd's hook. I'm going to squeeze it together at the top. So place it in between and squeeze. Okay, take your hook and bend it backwards, 90 degrees. So now it's at an angle, just like the corner. Okay. Now we're going to thread it through one of our sepals. So thread the sepal. We're going to add glue to the bottom of our little loop. Pull the sepal up. And I let it dry for a moment. So if I'm making a large amount of flowers like I did for a wedding, um, I glued maybe like 10 of these in a row and let it dry for a little bit just because peace of mind and <laughs> make sure the glue adheres now we're going to add glue right to the top in that circular part right over top of our wire loop as well turn your flower over and place it right in the center and then i'll do this step for maybe five ten petals and i'll just flowers I'll have them all lined up I like to do two so you can do one or two it doesn't matter thread your second sepal now you can either add the glue along this the green part of the sepal on the bottom or you can add your glue here it really doesn't matter Whatever is easier for you. So I'll do it down here. And then just turn your flower. Then I like to place it down on my mat and I'm going to place the sepal petals right in between. And then you can pull any of the sepals down. I still add the sepals if it's in a bouquet because you would see it. But it's super pretty. And doesn't she look like a rose? So you can do a super cute little bouquet. Thank you for watching.